Hey, what's going on RVA on? I'm Leo Delane. Today we're going to be working out some back and biceps here at the Mecca RVA Iron. Basically, I'm going to go through a series of pull downs for the lats um, for my bicep exercise. You're going to see me working more so some dumbbell movements. Um, I'll do a few barbell movements, but for the most part, we're going to maintain strict form throughout the, uh, the workout itself, concentrating on the peak of the muscle. Yeah, let's work. All right, so typically when I start out my back exercises or workout, I like to start with lat pull downs. Um, what I do is a simulated pull of if I was doing a pull up. So I want to contract at the bottom, squeeze, get the blood flowing into the back. Um, and then from that point, I go into a series of row movements. But let's go ahead and get started on our lat pull downs. I'll do 10 facing forward. I'll turn around. I'll do another five in a modified movement facing reverse. We're gonna do seated rows going next here into the next uh, workout here. Let me do a concentrated row all the way to the back. I'm gonna keep the hands low, the elbows low, making sure I pull and squeeze all the way to the rear of the movement. Like I said, once again, I'm not gonna go super heavy. I'm gonna do enough to contract the muscle at the back, do a full extension at the top, and continue the flow to, for 10 reps. It's crazy, man. Like I said, for me, it doesn't take a lot of weight for me to get sore, for the blood to get there, for me to feel the pump. So, like I said, sometimes I'll do some ego lifting and I'll go a little bit heavier than necessary, but when I'm controlling that weight and I'm fully contracting at the back, it's, all the, it's more than enough, to be honest, for me. What motivates me to come to the gym? Um, I've always had structure, structure and discipline um, in my life um, since I was a kid. Um, I was basically in the military before I joined the military. My dad was very military in his structure and uh, as far as raising us. So, me maintaining and consistency behind my workouts and my workout ethic and things like that, it's just something that's been instilled in me, like I said, from my younger years, and the devotion to it is because I actually love it. Um, it's not something I do because I have goals in mind. It's something that I would do with or without goals. So, the fact that, like I said, it produces a positive outcome physically, mentally, as well as maintaining the structure and discipline to continuously do that. Um, for me, it, it enriches my soul, so. Next exercise is basically one arm rows. We're gonna do some isolated row movements. Like I said, once again, contracting at the rear, holding, squeezing, fully extending to the floor. All right, so a question I get a lot is, um, you know, what got me started into lifting? The funny part is, me growing up, that's something my brother always did, that's something my father always did together, they worked out together. Um, I didn't like the look of a bodybuilder, or even someone who worked out. I thought they had the stigma of someone who's egotistical. So, me lifting, no, I didn't want, want anything attached to that. So when I joined the military, I got sent on my first deployment to uh, Al Jabber Air Base. I was somewhat recruited by someone to go in and just help spot them um, on their sets. In between their sets, basically what I would do is do a working set myself. So if they were doing bench and they took a break, I would go in and do about five reps and see, see if I could push their max or whatever weight I could. So from doing that and, and the experience of that, I started seeing small results just doing those working sets here and there. And then I think about my third month mark of being deployed, I, w I started going by myself to the gym. 
I had a girlfriend break up with me, so I was in a depressed state of mind. So I was taking it out on the gym. And then within that month of investing into the gym, like I said, I saw a total body transformation. And I, I pretty much kept up with that story up until about 24, 25, when I committed to doing my first show. Took overall for men's novice, placed men's in, first in the men's open division, lightweight, light heavyweight, I'm sorry. And five shows later, 16 years later, here I am, you know, at 40 years of age, still doing this, keeping up with, you know, the workouts, the, the lifestyle, the eating, um, not prepping for a show, but just clean eating, things like that, so. All right, so next exercise, I'll be doing bent over rows. Like I said, I'm not gonna use a free weight, so you would be using the Smith machine on the Atlantis here. Um, same thing, top of the row of the movement, I'm pulled to the navel area, top of the movement, gonna squeeze, contract the muscle at the rear, return to the start position for 10 reps. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for back and bias today. Took you through a series of workouts. What I routinely do for my back exercises, as well as a little bit of my bicep exercise. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for joining me, RBAR, thank you.